Yeah, Ponsonby Road, Sunday the 14th. John Fisherbunga, Michael, my son. Limeliners, downtown Auckland. And trawlers. your diamond mesh net in the green. Another one, San Colbo, Auckland. Diamond mesh net. As you can see it's very small mesh. This is what does the damage to the, uh, the seabed being dragged along the bottom. As you can see, it's a fairly chunk, big chunk of steel. It's gone on the other side as well. As I said, these are dragged along the bottom, killing everything. This is the long liner. Note the backbone and the white spools and the blue spools. These are probably the most least destructive fishing methods used. And there's where it happens from, the trawlers. <laughs> this is very important that we do something to change our fisheries. Every year there's tons of snapper and seafood wasted by the commercial fishing industry. You know what they do? They just kill it and dump it in the water. Yeah, no, it's, it's um, it has to stop actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by starting to stand up and um, making a, a stand and saying what we think we 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 can do something about it. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. And what's That is our website. Uh, we're a fairly new um, organisation, but we intend to. Um, keep going with it and um, within 12 months or so we'll be quite public knowledge. Yeah, no, we've got, we've got a petition. Uh, it's, on, it's on our website. Yes, it's on the website. We'd welcome you to sign it. Thank, thank you very much. Yes, sand for sustainable fishing. But little do people know that up to half of it actually ends out dead and back in the ocean. There's an inshore longliner. As I said before, the longliners are not the problem. Well, not as serious of a problem as what the trawlers are. At least when they catch fish, they can be returned over the side of the boat alive. Pretty old boats, they do the job. Quite a well organised long line here. Now these guys here cause damage. They're big boats. Work in the outer Hariki Gulf. Four inch diamond mesh net. And believe you me, they do take everything. The very, very little returned alive into the water from this boat. John from Defender Dolphins, Dolphin Defenders, Murray, Murray's and Hector's Dolphins. Thank you, John.
obviously got his nets off at the moment, so he must be doing maintenance or something like that. This is a Danish scene trawler. They say they're sustainable seafood. They've got the third world fishing practices. So something doesn't make sense here. How can you have sustainable seafoods but third world fishing practices? Doesn't add up, does it? Over 95,000 tonnes of fish killed and dumped every year. But that is actually the tip of the iceberg. It could be up to 500,000 tonnes. We really don't know. Fishfight.org.nz is our website. We welcome you to come and have a look on it and sign our petition.